Hi everybody, today I'm gonna talk about the mixer in 3D Loops. Now, there are lots of kinds of mixers, you know, vocal mixers, DJ mixers, food mixers, you know. But um, this 3D Loop mixer, I'm gonna talk about it right now, um, usually is used uh, to filter sounds and make them sound uh, a little more personalized than it usually sounds at standard plugin. Now, a lot of people think that the uh, Fruity Loops mixer is um, uh, actually installed plugin, but it's not. Uh, the mixer is a built-in property of the program that is used to edit the plugins you use on you, you see here on the left uh, side of the screen, and you can add them to the mixer to edit them. So let's say you have a distorted sound on some of the hand claps or something. You can edit it with a mixer to sound a little more, a little bit more natural. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick some plugins from the left here. Okay. And now I'm gonna edit it, put it into the pattern. If you don't know what this is, you should watch the basic tutorial. And I'm gonna make it makes an overview of the whole program. Now here it is, those are the claps. Good. Now um, in order to um, assign it to a track here on the mixer, one of the tracks here, uh, you have to click the system settings, the channel settings, sorry, and uh, assign to free mixer track. Here it is, one track. Uh, you see the name here on horizontal, same name as in here in the pattern in the playlist. Right, now, um, to make an overview of the mixer, you see here the volume of each track, the master volume here, this sets the volume to all those tracks here, okay, you should set it to standard mode, not to up, because you're gonna hear distorted sound, and when you create a track, you don't want it to be distorted or something like that, right? You can solo it, those green points here, yes, dots, those green dots here are for uh, soloing you each track. If you click to solo this one, you're not gonna hear anything. Uh, the balance, okay, you can balance the sound to left or right, whatever. I usually set it on center this time because you don't wanna be in claps on the right side. Now, here on the right, well, uh, it isn't much to say about it, you know. Each volume control for the low frequency, the bass, the mid frequency, and the high frequency, the treble. Right, if you have tweeters, you should hear this a little more higher and powerful. The gain level again for each track, the same as this one here, you see. Not much to tell about this one, okay. Mm, what should I say? Those panels here, you see, they are. Um, for adding effects to your uh, tracks for each track of course you can add effects to personalize it okay so I'm gonna select a reverb okay now also you can uh, load presents for um, your reverb for example ambience and here it is they've adjusted for you some volumes so you can hear it a little more different. Oh, sorry about that. I had to make it okay. Yeah. As you can see, the reverb, what it does, it makes some kind of echo, it adds some kind of echo to the uh, plugin. So uh, you will have to adjust the volume to sound as nice as possible, okay? Um, you have a lot of different effects here, reverb 2, flanger, flangus, and uh, a lot of different other effects. You can just analyze it yourself and think what is good for your uh, soundtrack, okay? Well, that's all for today about the mixer. I wait you for um, later tutorials to talk more about this mixer because it has actually more properties than this. Uh, see you another time. Have a nice